Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back. I know I've been a little MIA lately, but I'm hungry, which really shouldn't be a surprise if you see my channel. If not, welcome. <laughs> Anyways, today I am reviewing the Oh, That's Good. So the question is, is it good or not? We're going to be finding out today. So a little bit of background in case you don't know, it's made by Oprah. Um, I guess that's kind of where the whole thing comes from. Yeah. So, um, it's kind of, she has, I know she's been kind of with Weight Watchers and everything like that, um, being more nutrition, more healthy and, um, watching her weight and things like that. So she created these new products, which are supposed to be what I probably would consider staples. You know, the potatoes, the pasta, things like that. The ones that she has even claimed are her favorites too. And she can't live without, which I don't see why anybody would want to, but anyways, <laughs> so she has eight products total. They are um, very, very, very hard to find. Um, there, some of the products are actually even sold out on Amazon. Um, I'm impatient and I didn't want to have to wait a whole day to get the product. So um, I ran across a couple of stores and some of them claimed to have them online, but they didn't have them. Uh, but I actually found two of the products, so I'm happy about it. She has eight total. So she has the original mashed potatoes and then she has another one mashed potatoes it's mashed potatoes with garlic she has the three cheese pasta which yummy pasta <laughs> and she has another pasta dish which is a creamy parmesan and which are extremely hard to find she has four soups which i am dying to try the tomato basil soup i love it i hate tomatoes but i love tomato basil soup i never thought i would say that but i do um, so she has tomato basil soup, uh, excuse me, creamy tomato basil soup with a twist of celery and carrots. Why do you have to ruin it? Why do you have to throw the vegetables in it? Granted, it already has tomatoes in it, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. <laughs> she has the broccoli cheddar soup with a twist of butternut squash. I've never had butternut, but I'm curious to try that. She also has the creamy butternut squash soup with a twist of sweet potatoes and carrots. And then she has potatoes, uh, baked potato soup with a twist of cauliflower. So um, those are the four products or eight products total. The creamy mashed potato, the original mashed potatoes and the garlic mashed potatoes also have a twist of cauliflower. The three cheese, which I will be trying today, three cheese pasta, excuse me, has a twist of butternut squash and then the third the fourth dish of creamy parmesan has a twist of white beans now I know supposedly rumor has it that <laughs> I love the sarcasm in my voice uh, rumor has it that cauliflower is supposed to be similar to mashed potatoes I've tried it and I don't know what kind of taste buds these people have, but I taste the cauliflower in it and it's not appetizing at all. It's, yeah. anyways, I can definitely tell the difference. Um, so I'm kind of curious about these, if it actually tastes more like potatoes or not. So here goes nothing. I'm gonna have to try them out. I'm gonna go warm them up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay. So, as much as I want to dive into this right away, I'm going to give a little bit of breakdown on the nutritional facts. So, um, actually, first, you can find the main dishes or the entrees in the, I thought they would not they would be in the frozen section, but they're not. They're in the refrigerated section, kind of like, um, I think that they have like the ready to eat, beat, like the meats where you just throw them in the microwave. That's where I found these, kind of like with the lunch meats area somewhere around there I don't know that's where I found mine so I don't know everybody's is going to be different but it was like in the refrigerated section it wasn't the frozen section so we're going to start out with the mashed potatoes and they actually smell like mashed potatoes I've like I said I've had it mixed before but I could still smell the cauliflower I don't really smell it here but oh it smells so good all right, so the serving size for this is four and a half servings, which is about um, half a cup. In my case, it's gonna be a full cup because that's pretty much how I'm, I love my potatoes. <laughs> Anyways, so half a cup is 130 calories, which with 
45 calories from fat. It has total fat of five grams, saturated fat with three and a half, total saturated is zero. Cholesterol is only 15. Sodium is 480. Total carbs is 16. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Dietary fiber is two. Sugar is pretty low, it's at two, and it actually has some protein with three grams. So, let's see about the ingredients. The first ingredients, go figure, is potatoes. Who would have guessed? Alright, so it's um, potatoes, cauliflower, milk, cream, skim milk, and it contains less than 2% of salt, cultured dextrose, whatever that is, cultured skim milk, dried buttermilk, spices, we get certain spices i don't like it generalized like that that's just weird to me unless there's a spice called spice which might be but anyways <laughs> it has citric acid gelatin cultures and in instant preparation whatever that is i don't know all i know is that it better taste good so let's see if it's really as good as the name and it only takes about five minutes for a dish to be cooked and it's only five bucks for as big as the portion is. That's pretty good. And Oprah's name's attached to it. Well, I, I, I'm, I would give you a thumbs up, but I gotta taste it first. I can't give it just yet. I'm nervous about trying this. <laughs> just cause I have such high hopes. I love potatoes. <sighs> All right, here goes nothing. One more time. Okay. Um, it's it's okay. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know I couldn't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> Actually, not too bad. I still have the hint of cauliflower, but it's not as strong. So I definitely have to give you some thumbs up. It's really good. So, um, while I continue this video, I'm just gonna enjoy this. I had a bigger spoonful. Okay, I'm gonna eat my half. I'm gonna eat my half cup right now. <laughs> <On camera. laughs> mm, 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 mm. Actually, pretty good. I think maybe the garlic one might be a little bit better because the garlic may actually help cover up the taste a little bit more. My predictions, but we'll see. Very good. Now, let's try the butternuts. I mean, the uh, macaroni and cheese. Because let's face it, that's exactly what it is. Oh, <laughs> silly me. I forgot about the nutritional stuff. I was reading. All right, so before I forget, uh, I'm so ready to dive into that. I'm pretty sure mixing them together would be good too. Okay, anyways, sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> <sighs> this is why I should never do taste testing on an empty stomach. Okay, let's face it, I'm just, I wanna eat no matter what I could just eat. No, I still wanna eat more. Anyways, all right, so this one has a little bit more calories, but it also has bigger portion size or uh, serving sizes. So this one has, uh, let's see, two and a half servings. This one has four and a half servings. So that can kind of give you an idea of why this one has a bit more calories. This one has 290 calories. The three cheese has 290 calories, 110 from fat, but the serving size is a full cup. That's more realistic. We all know pasta is just go yeah anyways <laughs> so actually it's still probably about the same actually that was still lower the potatoes is actually lower calories still even if you do double up the serving size than this one but anyways it has cheese and everything like that so you gotta take it with a grain of salt or a spoonful in a mouth at a time anyway <laughs> anyways so the total fat is uh 12 grams saturated fat is seven trans fat is zero cholesterol is 40 Sodium is 830. Carbs is gonna kill me at 36. They're so good, but so evil. Anyways, <laughs> sorry, I had a little bit of session. All right, the dietary fiber is three. Sugar's a bit higher on this one at five, and the protein's actually very nice. It's 15 grams, so I'm ready to dive into this one. But before I do, gotta cleanse the palate. Sorry, I'm a little bit thirsty. Um, if you want to know about this cup, um, I love it. It's so unique. 
Um, I actually will be doing a review in, on my channel just because it'll be a quick review rather than a full video. So go check, I'm sorry, not my channel, uh, my Instagram. So be sure to go check it out with the dimple. Um, the Instagram is Jazzy Reviews. Uh, yeah, Instagram is Jazzy Reviews with a Z. Just like my channel, so be sure to check that out if you want a little bit more about this. Also, follow me. I do giveaways there too, so. Anyways. The noodles are a little bit t a little bit tougher than I like them to be. I like them really soft, but not bad. It's pretty cheesy, but I mean, if they have to eat healthy macaroni and cheese, you know, this is pretty much just you know, kind of the way to go. I mean, it's, it's okay, you know, if you like macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Okay, but seriously, it's actually pretty good. It has a, a unique taste to it. I'm guessing that's the butternut squash that's in it. I've never had butternut squash. So this is a first for me. Thanks, Oprah, for including new vegetables into my life. Yeah, actually not too bad. But hold on, we gotta do the ultimate test here, okay? Now, let's see if these go together. I don't know about you, but I'm into my mashed potatoes and just about anything, so. We gotta try them out together. But. Yeah. Definitely a winner. <laughs> I just need like some chicken on the side. And this is by my sides. That'd be good. Yeah, the whole thing. That, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The whole thing. I can't have the whole thing to myself. I gotta share it. You gotta get your own zone. I'm sorry. Now we have to get your zone. This is not shareable. This, uh, Oprah, this needs to be one portion size, okay? Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, if not, then I might as well go ahead and eat four portions for everybody. And we'll be good. <laughs> but yeah, definitely got to give Oprah some thumbs up. Great dishes. I look forward to being able to get my hands on your other dishes so I can try those out too. So make sure that you like and subscribe. If you were lucky enough and fortunate enough to try the other dishes, let me know on how you like them. But in case I haven't mentioned, make sure that you like and subscribe because I do do giveaways and um, you know you want to see me more. Anyways, thanks guys. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, sorry. If you like this video and you want to see more of me, who does it? <laughs> make sure that you go check out my other YouTube channel. And also check out, which I'm not sure where it is. I never do. It's somewhere over here. Anyways, you know. You know how I am. <laughs> but also check out my other YouTube channels. And make sure that you like and subscribe. And make sure you comment below. Thanks, guys.